welcome to the new episode. Today we are going to discuss this social adaptation in the multicultural landscape with intercultural specialists. We'll dive into their role and particularly how they can facilitate the adaptation process for those navigating the diverse cultural environment of Europe, for example. This social adaptation process is in a new culture involves understanding and uh, adjusting to new social norms, behaviors and customs. Take, for instance, the act of gift-giving. In many parts of Europe, it's common to bring a gift, such as wine or flowers, when you are invited to someone's home. However, the choice of gift can sometimes lead to cultural clashes. For example, in many parts of Europe, it's considered inappropriate to give chrysanthemums as they are typically associated with funerals. An intercultural coach would guide newcomers about such nuances to avoid unintended offense. Another example involves dining etiquette. In some European cultures, such as France and Italy, meals are leisurely affairs and it's considered rude to rush. In contrast, in Northern European countries like Germany or the Netherlands, people tended to favor efficiency and might eat quicker. A newcomer to these countries might misinterpret these behaviors as impolite or odd, when in reality they are just cultural differences. Social gestures can also lead to misunderstandings. In Mediterranean cultures like Spain or Greece, people often greet friends with a hug or kiss on the cheek. However, in more reserved cultures like the UK or the Nordic countries, such physical contact might be seen as overly familiar or even invasive. An intercultural specialist can help you navigate these different norms to avoid uncomfortable situations. One more anecdote revolves punctuality in Germany or Switzerland. Being late even by a few minutes can be seen as disrespectful, while in southern European countries like Spain or Italy arriving a little bit late is usually not a big issue. A newcomer unaware of these different attitudes towards time can cause a friction. These are just a few examples of how cultural norms can differ across Europe and how an intercultural specialist can help in easing the social adaptation process by providing insights into these differences. Understanding such cultural nuances can go a long way in fostering healthy social relationships and easing the transition into a new culture. Join me next time as we continue to explore fascinating topics like this. Until then, stay curious, stay open, put like, be social, share, put a comment. What would you like to learn from La Classe? And remember, every culture has something to teach us. Interculturally yours, Anastasia, thank you.